Hello guys! Today is a very important video for me and for you because I have prepared six useful tips how to prepare for the entrance exams to the Finnish universities better than anyone else. And I remind you that I passed this exam successfully. Now I'm studying at the Young University of Applied Sciences here in Finland. And I got 37.6 out of 40. And uh, today I'm mostly going to talk about the tasks that are connected with the article that you have to read before the exam. So let's start. My first tip for you. Don't think that you have a lot of time. It seems like uh, it, two months, almost two months, is such a great period of time because you normally get this article at the end of January, maybe at the mid, uh, in the middle of January, and the exam uh, in uh, most countries are held uh, in March and here in Finland it was the 1st of April uh, as I know uh, this year uh, and uh, it seems that oh two months I have so many time to read this article to understand it no like uh, you will uh, postpone this reading further and further until the point where the exam will be like in front of you uh, so I highly recommend you to start preparing um, seriously uh, when you get this article. My second advice for you, actually it will consist of uh, three steps, but it's a very useful method, at least it works for me well. So how to work with this article? What should I do with this article? Uh, so what I did, uh, the first time you see this article, uh, you just read it and you highlight some moments that seem important for you to you uh, during this first reading and you also should pay attention to um, maybe some phrases or sentences or already highlighted or bold text um, and try to think of what problems can I take from uh, this part of the text um, what, because you will have to write an essay and, it, and the essay, the theme of the essay will be taken from this article so according to the material from this article so try to analyze the text while reading and it is completely okay that you do not understand something especially during the first reading because when I first read uh, the article that I had during my year I was like uh, I wouldn't even understand it in Russian if I read it the first time so don't panic just read highlight what seems important for you and try to analyze the text you can even write uh, somewhere um, problems that you think can be um, mentioned can be uh, described according to this material it, is, it will be very useful during other two steps uh, so the second step is uh, to work with the text, to work with your highlights. So uh, what I did, I read this text the second time, but not just read this time. I um, read and at the same time I looked like what I highlighted and tried to understand the idea. And then I wrote down important things. So your main work here is to analyze, understand, write down important points and write down points that you do not understand um, from the first reading or you do not understand at all. Um, and try to figure out what it means, what it can mean. Don't, do not be afraid to ask other people, to ask your parents, like maybe they can help you. And uh, also 
you start working with uh, these problems that you found during your first reading. So you take something from the text and you think, hmm, so they can ask this question because they have this information in this text, in this article, so I will be able to answer it. And on this second step, during this second step, you um, choose these themes, you actually write down the themes for the essays and you start writing those essays that seem, that seem um, more important for you. So in my case, I had the file with, I think, 60 themes for essays or something like this. Yeah, 62 themes for essays. So of course, physically, I won't be able, I wouldn't be able to write all of them. That's why I just have chosen the most important ones from my point of view and I have written them uh, firstly on the computer and then I rewrote them because when you write it with your hand you remember it better. It's very important here during this step to just get the structure. If you do not know how to write an essay, just read something on the internet or create your own structure so it will be more or less formal and uh, so that you will already have in mind how you can start every essay. Like I have on, almost the same uh, uh, beginning and ending and the main part uh, in all essays. So when I came to the exam, I was, uh, I didn't waste my time on this. I just started thinking what I can write, uh, not about the structure and how I should write it because I already knew how I would do this. Uh, by the way, a good point to mention, uh, uh, take some uh, vocabulary from the article you read because in this way you will be able to show that hmm, I can uh, use these words that you gave to me. I read this article and I know this what this word means. So it's very useful and it will show you from the best side. And the third step, the final step of uh, uh, your reading is just to uh, read this article again and in my case I was so surprised because it seemed to me that I read another article after um, all these essays written by me, after all the discussions, after um, writing everything down and trying to analyze and understand it. Uh, so I understood like I think everything from this article and I looked at uh, different things differently, um, at the same things differently uh, because now uh, back then I was able to understand them. And uh, after that just give yourself a rest before the exam. So in my case I read it like the day two days before the exam and the day before the exam I did nothing because your brain needs rest after this hard work.